My sugar plums, it's your girl Tatiana Brown here, and today I'll be showing you guys my crystals, and I'll talk about my story called The Sign of Life with Fireflies later on after I show you guys some crystals. Well, after I sh show you guys my crystals, I'll talk to you about it. This one here is a she is a Shiva Langa. It is a sacred stone of the Indian Hindu religion that will intensify the reality and level of pranic energy within your body to improve your overall health. These stones are powerful as they, as they stimulate the energy system of the entire body and it will aid an overall improvement into your body, your health, and well-being. This one, here, this one here is the rose quartz. I, well, I mean, this one here is a clear quartz. Why well, I just say the rose quartz. Uh, it is a powerful healing stone of mineral kingdom. It is able to work on any condition here. It is a stone of power and, and it amplifies any energy or ascension. It protects against Negativity attunes your higher level of self, your higher self, and it relieves pain. It amplifies energy and thoughts as well as the effect of other crystals. They are the energy amplifiers. Whenever you bring energy in it, they will bring, hey, they will amplify whether it's clear and constant muddled or confused, angry, and disconnected or joyful and enlightenment. And these here are the rose quartz. It brings unconditional love and it restores trust and harmony in relationships and, and friendships, encouraging unconditional love. It purifies and opens the hearts at all levels to promote to promote to promote love self love friendship deep inner healing and feelings of peace and i just got two rose quartz cuz i just need them cuz they are my favorite crystals that will restore the trust in me basically and it opens the heart at all types of love all other loves This one here is the Unakite. Unakite is good for your third eye and heart chakras and chakra. It brings together the abundant nurturing green nurturing energy of green with a soft, caring, passion of pink and one of the nature's most healing most healing crystals of the heart. And mine, it resonates with the frequency of love, compassion, and kindness. And it is a stone dedicated to balancing the emotional body and health. The orange calcite is a powerful healing stone containing the element of fire. It is linked to the physical body and also aids in healing emotional issues. It, it leads one's thought with one's will, assisting in taking action towards one's goals. It assists in overcoming depression, uh, lethargy, or whatever the word is, and inact or inactivity. And it can and it can be wonderful in reclaiming one's health and reality. And this one here 
and the this one here is the opalite. It is a it is also a powerful crystal that improves communication on all levels, especially the spiritual realms and spiritual body. Basically, it is it removes energy blockage of the chakras and meridians. It removes energy blockages of the chakras and meridians emotionally. It helps by assisting during transitions of all kinds and it genders persistence and give us strength in verbalizing our hidden feelings. It also enhances sexual it also useful in meditation partly because it gives off a calming and relaxing energy but it also because it is associated with opening up the third eye which is the chakra of institution uh, institution insight and vision and how you charge it well expose well expose crystals to moonlight or sunlight or whether both you could do it on your own and it is used to benefit you with reducing fatigue balance and balance mood swings and purify the blood it is great to be used for meditational purposes as it helps to remove energy blockages and leave your chakra And now, tell and now, here's here's what I'm gonna tell you about my story called the sign of delightful fireflies. Um, the signs of delightful fireflies is finished on Wattpad yesterday, and it is dedicated to one of my friends. Well, I mean, it is dedicated to one of my late schoolmates, Malik Shepherd. And he's a good guy. He was a good guy, and, and and he was a good guy. And and we seen each other. We seen each other at school, and I'm pretty sure miss him a lot. And honestly, I do miss him, and I miss everyone too. Everyone in my school, I do miss them. But I remove, but I remove some of them who don't appreciate, uh, who don't appreciate me, and and some of them are toxic to me. Based, I'm not sure. I miss my old friends. Base, I miss my old friends. I miss them a lot, and I wish I want to see them again. I, I don't know. I don't know how long it's gonna be. And anyways, I'll be making a sequel called The Binding of the Full Moon on Wattpad. And I'll be showing you the first chapter of the story later on. And I don't know if the first chapter is going to be long or short. But I'll let you know when it's long on Wattpad. And don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or whether... And whether Facebook or whether and whether Facebook yes follow me on Instagram Facebook and Twitter DeviantArt and Wattpad as well and I'll get and I'll see you guys in my next video sorry for the mistakes of my communication I just gotta get it done bye loves